Today we're talking about changing population sizes. So we're talking about growth or shrinkage because both happen. So changes in population size are determined by four factors. Uh, births, which is also referred to as natality. Natal refers to birth. Uh, births is given the variable of lowercase n. Immigration, individuals coming into the population, is the variable lowercase i. Deaths or mortality is lowercase m. And then emigration, individuals leaving the population, is lowercase e. So we can figure out the change in any population, which is delta n, because deltas change. It's going to be equal to the birth rate and the immigration rate minus the death rate and the emigration rate. Basically, new individuals in the population minus individuals exiting the population. Once we know what delta n is, we can do some other calculations that are pretty useful. One of them is growth rate. Growth rate's variable is gr, and this represents growth over time. So how much is the population growing typically each year? So gr, growth rate, is equal to the change in the population over the change in time, how long or however many units have um, passed. This is an average. So the more detailed the information you have, the more detailed your growth rate can be. We also can calculate something else though. We can calculate per capita growth rate. And per capita growth rate is still a growth rate. It is still for a set period of time, but it doesn't actually measure it based off of time. It measures how many new individuals there are for individuals that already existed. So what proportion is the population growing by? Are you getting half a new individual for every individual that exists? I really hope not. That's a fast growth rate. Um, are you losing one individual for every 100? That's how per capita growth rate functions. So per capita growth rate is CGR, literally capita growth rate, and it is calculated by the change in population over the initial size of the population. So sometimes you'll be given this as, oh, the new population size is this, old population size is this, say it's 16 and 10. What's the per capita growth rate? Well, the per capita growth rate would be one-sixth because you have to go, okay, what's the new one minus the old one to find out what the change is. So the change there was six. So the per capita growth rate would be one-sixth.